<laughs> to apply the green makeup, to do the entire thing, like a half hour now, we got it down. Used to take longer, but now with Joe, this is Joe, my hey, makeup, Joe, the makeup um, designer for the show, and helps me, and he also helps me do the makeup every day. Perfect. Uh, it's Mac, um, and Joe, this was already made, this green, right? We just mm -hmm. got lucky. They didn't have yeah. to make a brand new color. And it's um, it's this pancake thing, and it, it's actually, you add water to it. We use these Japanese brushes. They're really soft. And um, he dips it in water, and then it's like we're watercoloring me. And uh, and it's and it's light. It's not really, I think I worn more makeup in other shows than I actually do with the green, at least heavier. Um, well, I read the book, and I absolutely love the book, and I love the character in the book. Um, and um, I loved, you know, that she's this underdog, and that the, the twist on the entire character, and how the audience would come in with these ideas about her, and then I'd get to sort of turn that. Um, and. And um, and obviously working with Stephen Schwartz back then, I mean, you don't know what you're getting into, so you just you go with the collab the collaboration and the and the, the creative team, and if you trust that and you're excited to work with those people, Joe Mantello and um, Winnie Holtzman, um, you gotta kind of just trust that they're gonna guide it in the right direction because it's two three years away from when I got involved. Um, and just sort of enjoy the journey and the things you could learn from them and actually not be as result oriented and know sometimes things aren't going to work. You're going to do a reading and certain things are not, are going to, are going to, um, fall kind of, um, short. But, but what I learned, um, as an actress and as a musician with, with both of them is, was enough that if it never even made it to Broadway, it didn't matter. It was important for my, um, evolution as, you know, a human being, I guess. Look, it's great you say that because I, I would think with the creation of a whole show out of town, I mean, things change on a day-to-day -day basis sometimes. I mean, even funding, you know, how often you know if something is going to even make it to fruition? You don't know. So, and, and we had to sort of, I had to commit that I wouldn't do much else, um, you know, like a TV show or another play. Or, so, um, yeah, you really have to take a leap of faith and, and and enjoy the process. And that's what's so great about new musicals. I mean, you know, and originating a character and, um, is, is is how they start to, they, they hire you and then they start to, you know, write things that fit you, uniquely you. And, um, and, and, and then I would gr take from them and, and um, and then to be this at this point and look back and and see that this is a woman that we we created together, um, obviously with the inspiration of Gregory Maguire's character and the inspiration of the Wicked Witch of the West from the movie and Margaret Hamilton, and then sort of you know what Adina was going to make of that. It was, it was all really exciting and like I said, if it didn't make it to this, I would have still been a better artist, I think, having had the experience. When people see me, they will scream for half of Ozzy's favorite team, the wizard and that about the success of the show and sort of count my lucky stars every day because it is rare, especially an original um, musical. Um, and I, um, I mean, I, I, yeah, I think it's just, I think it's the, it's the story. It's, it's, it's something that appeals to, you know, all ages, which is rare. You know, it, it, it's it's a it's a smart enough, intelligent enough story for adults to 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 get in there and, and have fun discovering and figuring out what's going to happen next. And, and then it's got and it, um and then for kids, obviously, it's you know that's evident. But it's 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 an intimate story within a spectacle. So it has everything that everyone goes to a musical to see and. Yeah! Chance to 
You know what I found quite interesting? You know, people coming to the theater know The Wizard of Oz, and they think they know all these characters, and no one would have ever rooted for The Wicked Witch of the West. Right. And then you come to this, and you see this wonderful story, and you feel so much, because you figure out how this woman came the way she was, and mm -hmm. you realize she's the one you root for. Yeah, well, that's, I mean, obviously, that's what I love about it. Um, and that was difficult to create and, and to work on as far as the book goes. They, you know, there's it, it, it just, just a, a tender balance as to... Um, you know, trying to make her real and have and have quote warts and and spunkiness and and not always be so nice because yeah you know, I think they were worried that if they made her if they, she wasn't likable then obviously we had nowhere to go. On the other hand, I mean how you know we have to make her real and have these levels. So we'd play with how much of a sense of humor does she have? How how honest can she be when she's younger? How how um, you know, how angry can she get before she gets angry and all that kind of stuff. I was wondering when you really feel that Elphaba has sort of evolved before uh, you take it, the It's gone through some different... Uh, I have different choices. I mean, it used to be putting on the green, but now you sort of become immune to that. Um, so I think sometimes putting on that cap and the boots are flat. Everybody has these great, like, high-heeled shoes and they all look really fierce and I have these kind of... The way it makes me walk, I feel kind of dumpy and nerdy and the little cap. And the glasses help me um, for the beginning of the show. I think the wig. The wig is the big. You know, the makeup comes first, then the wig, then the eyebrows. And then they have a little break to, to warm up physically. Uh, you know, there's no turning back. <laughs>